everyone behind him in no time at all. That was the precondition for the team switching up a gear. You can't just start training more in the middle of the season. That does your body more harm than good. You have to try and get the best possible performance out of the players in their current condition. I know how to go about leading a team and dealing with individual players. How you communicate with them is one thing, but the actual content of the training is very important as well. It's the things you practice there that you have to try and implement out on the pitch. He knows what he's talking about. Jupp Heynckes is one of only six men to win the Bundesliga as both player and coach. He earned four titles on the ball with Mönchengladbach and three so far on the touchline at Bayern. The Foles deadly frontline leader in their golden era of the 1970s, he's still third on the league's all-time scoring chart on 220 goals. More than one of them at Bayern's expense. In short, a world-class striker in his day. He had a great career as a player. He was one of the best German strikers of his generation. Heinkes and München Gladbach, the provincial club challenging Munich's big city stars for top billing. Back then, there was no love lost between Jupp Heinkes and Bayern. No, he played for Munchen Gladbach, and we certainly weren't friends with Gladbach players in the national team back then. There was a certain mutual wariness. Gladbach were really good at the time, and they'd often beat us to the title. We had a healthy rivalry, without a doubt. The success continued after he hung up his boots. Heinkes is alone in having won more than 500 Bundesliga games as player and coach. And he's not finished yet. He was able to learn from a great master in Hennes Weisweiler. He played under him, then started out coaching as his assistant. That was an important and fruitful time. In Gladbach and later again in Munich, Heinkes coached a player who would go on to be World Footballer of the Year, Lothar Matthäus. Why do I like Jupp Heynckes? He was my first coach for five years when I started out at Gladbach. I have a lot to thank him for. In those days when I had a bad game, he always stuck by me. He made me a much better player and recognized qualities no one else had. He was a world-class striker, national team player, multiple league title winner with München Gladbach. Obviously, that's all experience he can work with. He knows how players have to move up front and the kind of service they need. He's the complete coach. Who's managed to attain legendary status at two top clubs. Bayern and Gladbach. Heinkes wears his heart on both sleeves. That's a really nice added bonus that these two great clubs of the 1970s have turned out to be my clubs. I always felt totally at home in München Gladbach as a player and enjoyed a lot of success there. And now at Bayern, I feel every bit as much at home. The final league game before he retired in 2013, at Mönchengladbach. I'd like to really thank the Borussia fans and the crowd for such a wonderful send-off, because... That shows me... Well, the, yeah, this is where I come ich, from. Das, das, das meine Heimat ist. Schwalmtal, west of München Gladbach. Heinkes spent four and a half years living the quiet life here, and it's here that he'll return one day. 
I think you can feel comfortable and content in a lot of different cities and countries, but there's no place like home. For me, it's an oasis of tranquility, my personal retreat, a place where I'm totally at ease, surrounded by ordinary people, away from all the professional vanities. Somewhere I can just move around freely and take it for granted that folk aren't going to make a big fuss about me. Schwalmtal, where Jupp Heynckes is in his element. And where one of his regular stop-offs is Pino's for an ice cream. He's a perfectly normal person, not stuck up at all, really down to earth. He comes in and chats with whoever's here. He has a friendly word with the older folks and the youngsters, of course. The mayor is equally effusive about the municipality's celebrity citizen. He's done great things as a player and coach. A lot of high achievers get carried away by their own success, but meeting him here, you see how grounded he is. He's remained true to his roots. Once when he was here, I said, are you not watching the football today? He said, Pino, I've seen so much football in my life. Sometimes I'd rather just sit in the garden, eat my ice cream. That does me fine. He's never forgotten where he's from. That's great. But for the moment, he's back in the big time limelight in Munich. At 72, he's the oldest coach in the league by some way. But he's definitely still got a youthful spring in his step. It's not like he needs someone to help him down the stairs. Jupp Heynckes is more than a coach at Bayern. To some, he's also become a real friend down the years. Jupp is someone you can rely on. He's a very profound character, always challenging his own thinking, that of others as well. He's someone who doesn't panic, isn't going to be blinded by his own success. He's always followed his own path without succumbing to any kind of arrogance when he's successful. In a nutshell, He's a good guy. And he's still on course for another treble with Bayern, even if a repeat of 2013 isn't on the official agenda quite yet. We were in Qatar back then and still in every competition, which helps if you're after the treble. We also had the salad bar. I made a point of checking that. As long as it's possible, they'll go for it. And some are already happy to admit as much. I'd say Bayern München are a pretty good team. Why shouldn't we do it? We have to be capable of it. Whether the general public see it that way is another matter. That's the standard we set. For better, or maybe occasionally worse, I'm someone who will always go into a game with the basic mindset that we're the only team who can really win it. Not a claim you're ever likely to hear from the coach. The management are also happy to keep things low-key for the moment. I think we've a decent chance of defending the Bundesliga title again. As far as the Champions League goes, we do well to just go about it a step at a time and with the appropriate humility. 
The tournament's really kicking into gear now, and with the knockout format, you can't afford to have a single off day. No more slip-ups or lapses in concentration. I think that's how Jupp approached it in 2013. We improved from round to round and ended up deservedly winning the tournament. But we're not setting him that target of taking us to another treble this year. That would be presumptuous on our part. There's another big question. Might Jupp Heynckes still be in the Bayern hot seat next season? I've been asked if that's what I'd like. And I said yes. Simple as that. Whether it's a realistic option, I don't know. I just can't say yet. We have to let the whole situation settle down a bit first. He's got a bit of time to think about it, and so have we. July the 1st is still a long way off. Right now, we should be reflecting on the difficult period we've put behind us and enjoying our current fine form. The turnaround was abrupt once Jupp Heynckes arrived last October. Remarkable, the effect one man can have even on a club this size. I think we've reached a very good place at the moment. Besides our success on the pitch, I have the sense of a club at peace with itself again. We didn't really have that before. It was all getting a bit much. For myself and Uli Hoeneß in particular, there was just too much unrest. The results have certainly helped, but without a shadow of a doubt, Jupp Heynckes has helped restore a measure of calm. Now we need to ensure it's not so calm we fall asleep and stay focused on the job. The weeks ahead will be pivotal to the rest of Bayern's season. With the steady hand of Jupp Heynckes at the helm, they're well set for it. But is there, in fact, a bottom line to the secret of his sustained success? Maybe just that you shouldn't let yourself be led astray. Stick to your own path and your own principles. You do need to have certain rules and disciplines essential these days. Self-discipline as well. Discipline, talent and empathy. Tried and tested time and again down the years. Bayern and Jupp Heynckes make for a winning combination. I have to say, I've been lucky. And as I've said before, I owe Bayern a lot. I certainly have FC Bayern to thank for a good portion of my career. And Bayern fans will wish him all the best for the rest of the season and ongoing good health. You need that. Good health's very important, especially when you're still young. <laughs> Bayern and Jupp Heynckes, the perfect match.